Hi everyone, I'm Kelly and in today's video we're going to be doing something completely different from uh, our traditional painting projects. Um, I've been getting involved in paper collage so I thought I would share my process uh, with you and we could create a fun little project along the way. So um, I have some of the supplies that I use. I have some uh, hand tinted mulberry paper. So this is just white mulberry paper that I usually use for my Chinese brush painting. And I've gone ahead and I've um, colored it with uh, different water colors. I do have uh, one piece of green that's actually mulberry paper that's already hand dyed, which is nice. Um, you can find those in art supply stores or online. Um, you can also use um, regular cardstock or um, regular watercolor paper that you've um, painted on. Uh, I have a glue stick, which is uh, acid-free and photo safe. I have some tweezers to lift little pieces, uh, scissors. I have um, green watercolor paint and I have white gouache and that's to add details. And the reason I use gouache as opposed to say my white gel pen is because the mulberry paper really absorbs the gel pen. Uh, I have an old brush uh, so I can put the glue on the little pieces and I have a small paintbrush for um, my paints and I have some scissors. Um, I'm not going to show you the cutting out part. Um, but I will show you the pieces that I've cut out. So I'm going to take these and move them off to the side and move a couple of these pieces around. Uh, the other thing I also have is I have this scrap piece of paper that I use. Um, so I put it down on my cutting mat so that um, the glue doesn't get on my cutting mat just to keep things tidy because I'm a messy painter and messy crafter. Um, so this is uh, what we're kind of going after this little um, scene and I've um, kind of laid it out and this is what I do. I, I work on uh, watercolor paper and I take my pieces and I kind of arrange them and then um, I like using the tweezers to kind of move things around. So um, what I've done is I've just kind of made very simple shaped flowers as you can see they're really simple four petals and what I'll do is I'll use the gouache to make details on them. I've cut out very simple shaped leaves and then um, a vase out of two pieces. I've used uh, blue for the top of the vase and then I've used this white that has um, some kind of black ink speckles in it for the bottom. I generally do not use just plain white paper uh, for anything that I want to be white. I use something with um, a pattern in it, uh, just a small little pattern. You could use pages from an old book that would look nice. You know, the, the bigger the space between the words, the more white you have, so the lighter it will read. Um, but since I have lots of mulberry paper, I always end up with little bits um, of ink that don't completely cover the paper. So I save all that and I use that for my whites. So I'm going to get started gluing. So I'm going to show you the first couple of pieces. So I just, um, once I have everything overlapped, I just look and see, okay, um, I'll start with the shadow under the vase. And um, this is uh, something I like to do because I do so much painting and I like shadows underneath objects so they look like they're not floating in space, but it's not uh, something that you need to do. So I'm going to start with the shadow. So I have my um, trusty glue stick and I have this old brush and I'm just going to pick up some of the glue on the brush and gonna take my shadow, make sure I have it turned correctly. And I like the tweezers because they keep my hands clean and or well, they keep my hands cleaner than normal. How about that? And then I'm just going to slide this onto my page and there we go. So now what I'll do is I'll go around and I'll start placing all of my uh, pieces. And then when I'm done, I'll go back and I'll look for any edges that need to be glued down. And that's a good thing for this little brush.
now I have all of my pieces uh, adhered to my paper and now it's time to add some detail. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my white gouache and I want to make sure that the gouache is thick so that it sits on top of the paper rather than kind of sinking into the paper. And now I'm just going to put in simple little flower centers. Um, you can do whatever shapes you like. And on the lighter flowers, it, you know, it may not show up as much and that's okay. Like this one's kind of all speckled, so it doesn't show up as much. You could do, um, a, a dark ink if you wanted a different color, but I'm going to stick to this. And I think on a couple of these petals, I will just add some little details to the, to the ends, just to make them a little bit different. So everything is not quite so, uh, similar, it's just a little added something and maybe this one I'll do something like that maybe we'll have another one that just has a few little details I'm not going to do too much detail work just because it uh, it'll start to be all about the detail and not about the flowers which we don't want All right, um, now I'm going to pick up some of my green watercolor paint. And this is just regular watercolor paint. Um, it will put a list to everything, all the supplies that I used in the description box below so that you can uh, get an idea of what I used. Um, but feel free to substitute with any kind of paper that you like. You know, you could use magazines, you could use old books. Um, and let's just put a few little lines and I'm not making them very dark. Remember, I, I don't want the details to stand out. This is not about details. This is about the paper. Um, and I like using the mulberry paper because it has a nice texture when it's, uh, when it's tinted. I, I really like it. I think it's nice. That really is all I'm going to do with the details. Um, remember to sign your work when you're done and check any edges to make sure that they are um, fully adhered to the paper. Um, if they're not, you can always take your glue stick and a little brush and stick them down. Like I notice I have a little bit up here so we'll just gently pull that back and stick it back down and there you go um, remember to wash your brush if you use glue um, so that way it doesn't just harden on there and ruin your brush and there you have it a fun little paper collage vase of flowers um, I hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button um, so you'll be notified when I uh, post another video and um, if you like paper collage and you'd like to see more leave a comment below and um, if you try this and I hope you do please share your work on Instagram and tag it tutorials with Kelly so that I can see it and like it I will see you in our next video bye for now